When it comes to spicy food and hot peppers, most Mexicans are addicted. <sighs> we put chili on everything, even candy and fruit. Chile, chamoy, Basically, 99% of Mexicans feel like food is tasteless if it doesn't come with a little kick. This is why we love to eat peppers in every shape and form. We like them whole, in powder, and in salsa, of course. A taco without salsa is just not right. Think about it. Peppers have been part of the Mexican diet since pre-Columbian times. Some archaeological studies point out that peppers might have been the first domesticated species in Mesoamerica. But let's make one thing clear. Spiciness isn't a flavor. It's pain. So, are we masochist? Is there something wrong with us? Surely there's an explanation for this. Let's get scientific now. The chemical in peppers that causes the heat sensation is called capsaicin. This chemical stimulates the release of endorphins, which neutralizes pain. So it's not that spiciness that's addictive, it's the effect that it has on our brain. Let's say that eating hot peppers is a very Mexican way to experience pleasure through pain. So yeah, we are masochists. The habanero pepper is one of the hottest peppers in the world and the hottest we have in Mexico. The Scoville scale ranks how hot a pepper is and measures how diluted capsaicin has to be for the sensation of heat to disappear completely. For example, bell peppers don't have any capsaicin, so they get a zero on the scale. But habanero peppers get 300,000 Scoville heat units. This means it has to be diluted 300,000 times for the sensation of heat to disappear. This guy is about to eat a taco with a very hot habanero salsa. Take a look at his face. That is the face you make when high concentrations of capsaicin stimulate the pain receptors in your brain. That's the face you make when you enter hell. If you eat something with chili and it's too hot, do not drink water. Capsaicin is oil based, so water will only spread it. You're better off drinking milk, alcohol, or lemon juice. Chili peppers are not all that bad. They're loaded with vitamin C, which helps you heal wounds and boosts your immune system. Green chilies are also proven to regulate your blood sugar. That means that if you're a diabetic, this might be a great complement to a healthy diet. Now, in all honesty, chili peppers are not for everyone. But once you get the hang of it, you understand why Mexicans love them. So go ahead, try it. You'll thank us later.